So Abraham departed as the Lord had instructed and Lot went with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he left Haran. That is Genesis chapter 12 verse 4. And, and you've got to put this in its context. Uh, Terah left Ur of the Chaldees and reached as far as Haran, settled, stopped and settled there and didn't go any further. Abraham gets the word from God in Genesis chapter 12 at 75 years old. It's time to move on. It's time to get to Ur of, it's time to move from Ur of the Chaldees, your cultural footing and from Haran where you would have settled and developed and push now, take what you have and go into the land I will show you, which his father would have already determined to be Canaan. It is insufficient to make the plan and never follow through. Intentions are not good enough. Let me say it again. The promise, the intention is not good enough. You've got to leave. You've got to start acting. You've got to get involved. You've got to engage the process. It's not sufficient to say, Lord, I want to. Lord, I am going. And then you stand at the, the same spot where you're going. My mind always goes back to Peter and John got the message from the woman who visited the tomb of Jesus. And they both left the same time and ran to the tomb. Peter was not as quick as John. So when John got to the tomb, he left Peter some, a little distance behind him. But he stood at the tomb's door and looked in. At the tomb's door, you could only see so much. And John records that. But Peter, by the time he got to the tomb, a little while after John, he did not just stand at the door. He bust into the tomb to examine the evidence. It is not sufficient for you to stand at the door. My mind also goes back to Lazarus after being raised from the dead. He manages with all the wrapping and all of the incense and all of the um, herbs that they would have uh, put for his body to be embalmed. When Jesus called him forth, they brought him to the, he came by himself to the edge of the tomb. But Jesus still had to say to those around him, now for him to re-enter life, you've got to loose him and let him go. You've got to take off all of the wrappings, all of the cultural clothes, all of the, all of the traditions. You've got to take off all of that so that he can now return to life anew. And sometimes that's what we need. It's not a matter of just standing there, making the promise, standing at the altar in prayer, saying, God, I will do it, I will do it. Tears and emotional um, expressions indicating your, your intention. That's insufficient. I'm not saying it, it's not needed, but at the end of the day, it's insufficient. We've got to do like Abraham and leave. We've got to do like Abraham and leave one to enter the other. So let me be an encouragement to you this morning. For every growth process, you're going to have to end a season to enter a season. You're going to have to close a door to go through another one. You're going to have to leave one room to enter the other room. You can't have it both ways. You, you can't stay here and be blessed. You can't stay here and have what God wants. No, no, no. The Bible says, as so Abraham departed, as the Lord had instructed. It's time to go. It's time to move. It's time to step up. It's time to obey.